Hey, yo, what's going on you guys? On today's headlines, Nota addresses the alleged causes of Costa Tisha's passing and Java's album Isibugo reaches a new milestone. Let's get into it. And guys, Nota comes out and make a few allegations about Costa Tisha's passing, just like how he's been doing with AKAs. He came out with a statement on his IG page saying, The owners and organizers of Ultra killed Costa Tisha. The strobe lights triggered an epileptic fit. May his soul rest in peace and his family sue them for wrongful death and his management for negligence. T effect lead two of their artists under management to their death in 29 days. And again said, My mother has an MTech degree in occupational health and safety from UNISA. I've studied her modules and I know what I'm talking about. T effect global needs to face the most severe consequences and Ultra South Africa must compensate the family of course to teach as well as seems to be a going uh, concern. I will personally see to it that they have all the means needed to get justice. And to be honest guys, I really think Nota may be exaggerating now. I mean what he's saying makes sense but we all know clubs have lights man. And it was not the first time Costa Teach performed in a place with a lot of lights. It was just unfortunate that now they may have affected him negatively by triggering an epileptic fit, which allegedly led to his death. I guess fatigue also played a huge role in causing all of this, and it is alleged that most artists use drugs to keep them fueled up with energy whenever they are fatigued. That might have also caused him seizure that led to his collapse. But anyway guys, the aim of this statement is not to endanger or affect anyone negatively. It is just me stating my own views on this situation and keep in mind that everything I said from my mouth is alleged. Anyway guys, you guys can tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. And again, Java's album Isibobo continues to do exceptionally well. The album has reached a milestone of 7 million streams on Spotify, 6 million streams on YouTube, 6.4 million streams on Apple Music, 500k streams on Audiomark, 475k streams on Boomplay, and lastly 40k streams on Deezer. And all of that accumulates to 20.3 million streams. Damn, that's so crazy, man. This is These are really good numbers. As of the status it is on right now, I'm not really sure, but I think it's a gold status. A big congratulations to Javaga Jamin Zalif. And that is the end of the video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Peace out.